Hi, this is Brad Linder with Lilliputing, and I have here an HP touchpad which is running Google Android, but it's not running the version of Android that was first released, CyanogenMod 7. Instead, it's running something called MIUI, which is a uh, custom version of Android, which is designed to have a, a different look and feel, a little bit closer to what you get with an iPhone. So, for instance, here's the lock screen. We can slide to unlock, and now we have a home screen, which has sort of the Android... Um, look and feel in terms of multiple home screens and, and a little bit of a dock down here at the bottom. The dock has a more of an iPhone kind of feel and you'll notice the icons are all a little bit more square. Um, now this version of Android uh, MIUI currently doesn't have the buttons at the bottom that you would find on Signage in Mod 7 for home, back, and search and so forth. Um, I installed an application called Button Savior which lets you access those functions from the side of the device. There's uh, also, if you want to be able to access settings, you can hit the settings tab here and you can see that we've got all of the typical Android settings, but they're uh, arranged a little bit differently and there's a couple of new options in here. So they're arranged by personal, system, and program settings. Um, again, if you want to get back to the home screen, you can either hit the home button on Android and hit uh, launcher or you can use Button Savior to do the same thing. The difference is Button Savior lets you hit menu and back and search as well. Um, I've installed a second app launcher on here at the recommendation of the uh, developer who admits that this is still a work in progress. So I've installed Go Launcher. And with Go Launcher, you sort of have a similar look and feel, but the difference is you can now get a complete list of installed applications, uh, something that's actually kind of difficult to do with the primary launcher application. Um, the pull-down menu for notifications has been redesigned a little bit and there's a whole bunch of different toggles in here for enabling flight mode, privacy, uh, reboot, shutdown, screen rotation, and so forth. So that's kind of nice. Um, some of the other things that are a little bit different under MIUI, you've got a tools folder here, you've got a file explorer which uh, separates things into music and APKs and miscellaneous and so forth, and you can also uh, click on SD, uh, the SD card or uh, connect to an FTP site. You can install applications that are downloaded from an SD card here, so just tap an APK file to install it. Or I also managed to install the Google Android Market which you can use to install applications as well. Some applications look better than others on the screen, though, of course. Um, so, overall, there's a, a quick look at, well, I guess that doesn't do screen rotation, at MIUI. There's also a um, the default web browser here, which um, supports tabs, but there's some graphical glitches. It really doesn't look great on this display. Uh, should support screen rotation as well. Pinch to zoom, and so forth. Um, and in here, even if you haven't managed to install Button Savior or another tool to give you back and forward, at least when you're browsing the web, you do get back and forward buttons in the default web browser. Um, the, um, most of the features work reasonably well. I was able to get Wi-Fi working properly, for instance, um, although it also thinks that we're on a wireless uh, a mobile broadband network. It's telling me there's no service, and I have an uh, icon up here that says that there's no connection for 3G, but there is a connection for Wi-Fi. Um, but overall, the, uh, the the user experience is pretty decent considering how early this build is. There's a lot of things that the developers still need to, to work out um, to make it a little bit easier to use. But if you're looking for an alternative to signage and mod, at least now there is one. Um, in order to install it, you can basically use the same tools that you use to install Sign Engine Mod. If you have Clockwork Mod Recovery installed on your device, all you have to do is download the MIUI zip file and navigate to it um, using Clockwork Mod, install it, and reboot. Uh, you probably want to delete your uh, uh, Dalvik cache and your data uh, partition first and uh, make sure that you're not um, 
uh, running into any problems there. And it's also probably a good idea to back up your settings using um, Clockwork Mod so that you can restore to Cyanogen Mod if you want. It's uh, Cyanogen Mod is much more usable at this point than MIUI, but uh, considering this is a first build, it's still pretty impressive. This is Brad Linder with Lilliputing and a first look at MIUI on the HP touchpad.